Well, it's a cold morning today. Got some work to do here. Um, this clay softened up. I'm going to be working on this gentleman here and uh, try to interact him with her.
how long it was off. I've been working on the loincloth that uh, he'd be wearing. And this is the back of the loincloth here. And what I'm trying to do is make it so it's, so they cast it by filling in any gaps in here. I'll put the front loincloth, but that's one that they can cut away at the foundry and uh, make a casting of separate. So like I said, always thinking about what uh, the foundry's gonna be doing and how they're gonna do it and, uh, and things like that. What I'm gonna show you now is just a little technique that I developed to make, give it kind of more of a, a leather look. You know how leather gets these deep little uh, incisions or, or crevices that are caused by wrinkles in the uh, clothing and stuff like that. And what I'm doing here is just taking my thumb fingernail and going across like that because he would have sat down and uh, it would have put wrinkles into the clothing like that. And then you just uh, rub them down a little bit and smooth them so they look uh, rounded and smooth like leather does. It's one of the beauties of leather, it just gets these wonderful little wrinkles in it. And uh, what I'm doing is just adding some wrinkles to it with my thumb and my nail. Don't want to overdo it, but. Uh, you get the feel for where it's supposed to, you know, wrinkle. I, I would say that wrinkles would develop in areas where the, you know, when he squats down and kneels down or whatever he does, you know, develop on the leggings. It just makes it look a little bit more like, well, let me draw. If you go to my blog, which is at uh, a day in the life of a lemon dot blogspot.com um, I'll have the photographs that I take today and you can look at them full size which uh, will help you see what I'm talking about as far as my wrinkles in the clothing go. I got quite a bit accomplished today. Pretty happy with the progress. Uh, able to at least get the upper arm of his sho and his shoulder on this side uh, sketched in. I got uh, the rest of the body pretty well sketched in. I'm not wor worried too much about the detail of the anatomy. I'm just basically putting planes and uh, bumps and areas of uh, location of ribs and, and pectoral muscles and stuff like that. Um, because it's going to have a, ja a kind of a heavy jacket or a shirt on, and so it's going to cover up pretty much everything there. Um, and I don't know how much of this is going to even show because his shirt will probably come down to about uh, mid thigh. But you know, it's always nice to have it so you, if you decide to do something with the shirt, you can do it. Um, got the uh, loincloth sketched in. I'm going to trim off the bottom of the uh, loincloth tomorrow. I'll work on this later.